parkour like an assassin. Let us begin. Anyone can learn parkour, but not everyone can be an assassin. So before learning assassinations, you must first master the art of adapting to the environment. Three things to be aware of when beginning parkour is location, conditioning, and mind over matter. So the most common question I get is where can I practice parkour? Well, as an assassin, you must learn to look at everything in the eyes of an assassin. And so as we're walking through our environment, you look for anything that sticks up out of the ground, you can probably use it of some sort. We got you know, ledges. Handrails. Don't be afraid to explore your city and discover the hidden possibilities. Four. You know, there's a whole multitude of things you can do with just a simple handrail and some creativity. Sometimes it may be difficult to find the spot you're looking for. So a little perspective can help, just leaving the beaten sidewalks, wherever you may be, and uh, find another perspective. So here we just spotted these rocks. Let's learn how to explore things, not with just our eyes, but with our body. So when we look at something, you know, what's the surface like? Feel it, get a feel for it with your hands, your feet. Learning parkour may be challenging at first, but remember, the nature of your body was built to move and adapt to your environment. Everyone's body is different. It's up to you to figure out how it moves and adapts. One of the most important things when preparing to do parkour is preparing your body through conditioning and exercises. I personally like to do an array of body weight exercises that you won't necessarily find at your gym, but you'll, I like to refer to it as guerrilla training, so that you're not just doing your conventional exercises, but you're going out into the city, into the woods, whatever you can find, and you're doing similar exercises, but in different ways so that your body learns how to adapt to any environment you might be in. There are limitless exercises. Don't only copy what you see, but go out and invent your own. Make sure to prioritize safety. Even though you may want to learn the next big move, the next cool trick, it's important that you're aware of what your body is capable of and how your progress is currently doing. Because step by step, you'll eventually reach that point where you can do the cool tricks, but it won't do you any good if you have a broken leg. So as you, you know, learn the mind over matter, learn what your body is capable of. I have trained for many years to be able to feel confident and comfortable at such heights. So exercise discretion as you explore what you're capable of, but don't take any unnecessary risks until you've reached a level that you feel confident. So go outside and unleash your inner assassin on the city. body it's capable of. Don't take big risks. Don't take big risks. <laughs> don't take big risks. But, uh, don't take big risks. I can't say risks. <laughs> don't take big risks. <laughs> don't take big risks, but rely on your progression to get you where you eventually want to do. Don't take big risks, but eventually... <laughs> don't take big risks, but rely on your progression to get you where you eventually want to be. There. Yeah. <laughs>